uh, we start with uh, the uh, wireless controller configuration. We uh, start with the, the topology. We will do it uh, from uh, the physical topology. Click in the home city, then corporate office. Then uh, we have the main wiring closet when we we'll put our, our devices. We start with uh, the wireless controller. Click on the network uh, devices, then go to the wireless devices. Here we have uh, different wireless uh, controller. We use uh, the wireless controller 3504. Then we need uh, a switch from the uh, uh, network devices, select the, the switch to uh, 960. We need uh, a server. Go to the end devices and add uh, a server. And we need this uh, uh, three uh, lightweight access point from the wireless, from the uh, end devices, go to wireless and add uh, this access point, L-A-P-P-T. We add three access points. Now this access point will connect uh, to uh, the uh, switch. And for the configuration or the management of the wireless controller, we need a laptop. Go to end devices and add a laptop for the, the configuration to use it to configure uh, the, uh, the wireless LAN controller. And we need the end devices as a, the topology based on the manual that we have. We have here three uh, uh, end devices that will connect to the network, to the wireless networks that I will uh, manage in this wireless uh, controller. Just I will add this device, I will add a laptop, and uh, a tablet, and a smartphone. Okay. Tablet. This is a tablet. This is smartphone. This three device: this laptop and this uh, uh, the wireless devices, the uh, smartphone and the tablet. I will connect them to uh, the wireless networks. But this laptop, I will use it to, to manage and configure the wireless uh, control. Okay. Now I will connect this device using the cable. Here we'll use the see-through cable for all connections. Just uh, we go to uh, the copper see-through cable. We start to connect uh, the laptop to the wireless controller. Yes. Uh, this uh, due to the version. Street throw. Huh? This cable, street throw, copper street throw. Copper yes. Uh, then we need to connect uh, the wireless controller to the switch. Here we have uh, in the switch, we have uh, uh, Ethernet ports or the gigabit ports. Connect uh, 
the uh, wireless control to the gigabit ports because they have a high speed than the uh, the Ethernet ports. Now we have to connect uh, the switch or the three access point and the server to the switch. We use the same cable, copy it through. We start with the server. We connect the server to, uh, because also the server need a high speed. I will connect it to the gigabit uh, ethernet and the switch. Then I will connect uh, the three access points to uh, the switch through the copper thread through cable from the Ethernet port and the access point to, for example, the Ethernet ports, fast Ethernet ports of the switch. No problem for any port. the second access point and the third access point. Okay, guys. Doctor, yes. You connect uh, wireless LAN controller. Con yes, connect wireless uh, wireless LAN uh, wireless uh, LAN controller to the switch and to the laptop. One laptop. This is the laptop. One, one. one laptop, yes. Now, I will back to the logical topology to start the configuration. Go to the logical topology. Here we have the wireless controller. There's three axis points. The switch and the server and for the wireless and devices the tablet the smartphone and the laptop that i will connect them to uh, wireless networks that i will configure in this uh, wireless control the first step is to assign ip address for different devices after the connection uh, here for the wireless access points you see here is uh, we have this red light that uh, uh, means the access point not uh, powered on just click on each access point and plug the power adapter on each access point okay This for the three access points. I have plug it. I connect them to the power. Now I will go to uh, the wireless controller. If you see here, the different steps uh, exist uh, in our manual. The first will configure the uh, IP addresses of the wireless sound controller, then the IP address for the laptop, for the server, and uh, I will configure the DHCP server. Take care about the uh, IPs and subnet mask that you uh, add in this configuration. Just I uh, will start with uh, the wireless controller. Go to configure, config, management. Here we have uh, this IP address that uh, is uh, default IP address. I will replace it by 192.168.254. Take care about uh, the subnet mask to uh, keep uh, here zero instead of 240, 255, 255, 255.0. Then the default gateway, 192.168.1.1. And the DNS, 192.168.1.10. Domain name server. Then we have this uh, for the addressing of the wireless controller. We go to uh, the laptop. I will add a static IP address. You can do it from desktop or from config. You can go to desktop. Then here we have to add the IP address 192.168.1.10. Uh, 
one dot seven and the subnet mask here the default gateway one one and the uh, DNS one dot ten. Okay. Now I will go to the server, guys. It's important the configuration of the server first with the IP address, then the DHCP. Because here I will use the DHCP server to assign IPs dynamically to different devices in my network. Click on the IP address first to add a static IP address for the server. As example, here we have the uh, 192.168.1.11 and the subnet mask. One, uh, 255, 255, 255 This is the addressing of uh, the server. Okay. Now I will configure the DHCP. Take care about the configuration of the DHCP. This for the server IP address. Now I will configure the, the uh, DHCP server. To do this, from the uh, tab services select the service DHCP then here you have uh, like a default DHCP already exists you can you, uh, if you try to uh, delete it you can't uh, remove it you can't edit you can edit it and yeah, just uh, replace uh, the existing information by new information yeah, for example here you will name it, uh, you will keep the same name because you can't delete uh, this one. So don't uh, make any confuse. Just first uh, uh, activate the, this service by clicking in the on because it is in the default switch is off. Then here we will put uh, the information related to this HCP. The gateway 192.168.1.1, the DNS server, 192.168.1.10 and the start IP address. Yani from which IP address this DHCP will start uh, assign IPs to uh, any device in the network. It starts from uh, 100. You can specify another number, but here, uh, here we specify that uh, the first IP that will be assigned from this DHCP is uh, 100 until normally 250, 254. Okay, and uh, guys, because we use uh, this IP address with uh, the uh, uh, network prefix uh, 24, normally here we have 254 IP address, starting from one until 254. But if you remember, 254, we assigned it to the wireless controller. And it is put it here. The maximum number of address, uh, sorry, of users. It is put it 255 because it starts from uh, 1. Here we will put uh, only 100 devices yani the, in this uh, network. The uh, wireless. Uh, LAN controller address. Which the wireless and LAN control address? Which the IP address of the wireless controller, guys? 192.168.1.254. Okay. And here, guys, just I have modified the Excellent configuration of the HCP. I will now save, save this uh, information. When you click save, you will see the information saved here. The gateway, the DNS server, the starting IP address, the subnet mask, the max number of users, and uh, the wireless controller. Take care that you have saved, because sometimes when you click save, it will not save it from the first attempt. But try to uh, uh, save uh, like uh, more than one attempts to get uh, the information saved correctly.
because uh, you know with the simulation we face some issues and we try to solve it uh, to get uh, the appropriate configuration for our wireless uh, LAN control. Now we finish it with the server guys. We go to uh, manage our wireless uh, controller. But uh, I will check if uh, access points receive IP address from uh, this uh, server, from uh, the DHCP server. Close this and go to uh, your topology. Here, if you put the mouse on each access point, you see here the gigabit uh, Ethernet IP address 192.168.1.3. But this is uh, not uh, the IP address that exists in the range starting from 100 because it's uh, uh, like uh, the, def the default configuration. I will click on the access point, go to config, then here select it, the, you see here to put DHCP. If you see the HCP, the default gateway, correct, 1-1. One, one. But the DNS, it's not 1-1. One, one. Because here, it's contained the a default configuration. Just uh, click on static, then check uh, or select the HCP. It will receive the correct configuration. You see here now, it uh, received the correct gateway and the correct uh, DNS IP addresses. And if you close this, and you put now the mouse in the access point, you will see this IP address. Which IP address it received from the HCP with the IP address 192.168.1.100. Yani it means that the HCP work and the access point received the IP address, correct IP address from this DHCP. I do it for, for other access points. Go to config, select static, then DHCP. It received the configuration. Here, IP address 101, the second or the next or the third access point. I do the same. Now, all my access points are connected correctly to the network receiving this IP address from the DCP server. I will get to the wireless control management. laptop we'll use the laptop to manage the wireless LAN controller click on the laptop you should take care the laptop has the IP address the correct IP address and in the same range in the gateway to have the possibility to access to the uh, wireless controller yani it should be in the same range as the wireless controller then go to a web browser and here put the IP address of the wireless controller to access to the configuration or to the uh, graphic user interface of the wireless controller. Which the IP address of the wireless controller? 192.168.1. Yes. It take a few seconds to open. Okay, now we have uh, this, uh, the uh, IP address, this uh, interface or the graphic user interface of the wireless uh, controller. I will create like an account, creating an admin account. We will use uh, a simple uh, username and password, admin as uh, username, but try to have uh, a different uh, username guys to uh, make it more secure. For the password, here we have uh, some uh, requirements for the password to be at least uh, six characters between uh, numbers, capital and small letters. For example, I will put uh, AD1234 five, six characters. A capital, D small, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. 
Then I will uh, click start to use this account. I will start the main configuration of the wireless uh, LAN control, controller. The first to give a name for this system, for this wireless system. For example, I will put uh, CCSIT2030. This is the name of the whole system, the wireless uh, system in this, uh, for example, this organization or this small uh, medium business organization. For the date and uh, time zone, keep it as it is. it exists. And here we have to add the management IP address. The management IP address of what? Of the wireless controller. Yeah, which address we use to manage, to access and manage this wireless controller? 192.168.254. The subnet mask, 255.255.255.0. The default gateway, 11. 192.168.1.1. Here, guys, this is information to access to uh, the wireless control. I click next to uh, create a wireless network, the step two. Step one to uh, give the, uh, the main configuration about the uh, wireless controller, especially the uh, management IP address and default gateway. Then I will go to uh, create a wireless network. The first wireless network, I will name it IAU STD student. The security, here we have uh, two types of uh, uh, wireless uh, uh, protection, uh, protected, uh, protected access, uh, security, personal or enterprise. For the personal guys, is the simple way that we use is the shared key. For the enterprise, here it needs to have uh, an authentication server, and this that we have in reality in uh, our uh, college network, we use uh, the WPA Enterprise, WPA2 Enterprise. For us, we will use WPA2 Personal. And here we have to add that we need the network password or the passphrase. Password, but here we name it passphrase to access or to connect our wireless device to this wireless network that I named IAU.STD. I will use a simple password from 0 to 9, guys. 0 to 9. But at home, don't use this kind of uh, uh, passphrase because it is easy to be cracked. It is easy to be found through uh, uh, hacking tools. So, uh, but here we use it as a simple password to don't forget. From 0 to 9 as a passphrase. Here, what I have done, create a wireless network. I will create one network here, but I will add other networks from when we access to the uh, configuration of the wireless control, but at, uh, as a first step to add at least one network to use this wireless network. Wireless control, sorry. Wireless uh, LAN control. Click next for this advanced setting. Normally we don't have any uh, other settings that I need. Just I will click next. And here we have the information that I have to save. The first, especially for the name, the username, the system name. Also here I added the IP address, the management IP address of the wireless controller, the subnet mask and the gateway. The second part concerning the wireless network that I have named IAU STD. The passphrase, the uh, security protocol, WPA to personal, the passphrase. Now I will apply to save this configuration in my wireless LAN controller. Here, the system will reboot after this setting, because I will save this configuration. The wireless controller will uh, uh, reboot after saving this configuration. OK. Here, saving the configuration, this may take a minute. Okay, so here, if I go back to my topology, you see here the link. We have this uh, uh, color, orange color, or uh, uh, that means that uh, uh, the wireless control now in the uh, saving state. 
And normally after the saving, the virus controller is configured. I will now go to, uh, if you click again in the laptop to see the interface, it's still at this state. But here guys, just uh, if you uh, use the simulation after a few seconds, you close it. You don't need to keep it until uh, it closes from itself. It will not cl close from itself. You should close it to uh, go again, access to the configuration. But before this, if you see this next step after this uh, part is about uh, to test the connectivity. To test the connectivity using the ping, so here we have uh, by the configuration, then test the ping with the virus control and the server. From the virus control to the server, we can use the simple uh, PDU to do this ping from the wireless controller, this uh, the wireless controller to the server. Here in progress, I will click again, successful, or I will repeat the ping again. Okay. Also, I can ping from my laptop to the server. So it means that uh, the wireless control is correctly connected to the uh, server and receives information from the server. Also, if uh, I will uh, test this access points if uh, they are connected to uh, the wireless controller or not. We can't uh, use the ping also to uh, from the laptop or from the wireless controller to uh, different access points. If it fails, just uh, double click on H1 to uh, resend the ping again. Here, I will back to uh, check the connectivity with access points. Uh, repeat it again. Now I can access to the configuration again to the uh, wireless controller uh, from the, the laptop using the IP address 192.168.1.254. Here you will see this message. Server reset connection. To access again to the uh, ma management interface of the wireless controller, we use uh, the same IP address 192.168.1.254. And when I click uh, enter to access, we have this server reset connection because uh, the, uh, uh, the security that they have added to the wireless uh, LAN controller, I should use uh, the HTTPS instead of the uh, HTTP. And now we have to log in. And we use the username that I have added, admin, and the password, AD12345. Login to access the wireless control interface money. If you see here, this, uh, the, uh, my wireless control, it can manage 150 access point at the same time.
Okay. Normally, I should have the wireless aspect appear here, but I will verify the configuration. For the wireless network, here, uh, the wireless network lines that I have added, normally I have added only the uh, wireless LAN uh, for students. And I can add a new network, for example, to add a new network. How to do this, guys? Here, create a new, click go, and I will add a new network, for example, IAU EMP for only the same SSID EMP. I click apply. Then I will back to add the security part. Here, the new network. You see here, the admin seat is disabled. It will not appear for you if it's still disabled. Also, we need to add the security here without security. Just I click and the link here to add the security part. To add the passphrase, here we have for uh, uh, the configuration. I need here to show uh, this uh, or to enable this network status. I click, I check uh, enable it. Then for the security, here we have security at layer two. Normally, no security. I will select here one level of the security, we will use WPA plus WPA2. Here we have the WPA and WPA parameters. It can be WPA or the advanced protocol, WPA2, wireless protected access protocol. Then here it will use, if we select WPA2, it will use which type of encryption, AES or TKIP, I will keep it AES because it is advanced, then TKIP. And I will use a pre-shared key, this shared passphrase that we use to access the network. Just check it to add this password or this passphrase as the same I have used in the student uh, network from zero to nine. Then I click apply, then click back to add a third network, click here for create new, go, the profile name guest, IAU guest, The access ID guest and uh, apply, then back and here to add the security part, click uh, here. So first, we need to enable this is to uh, let this uh, network. Uh, appear to uh, users for the security. I do the same. If you see here, if uh, I select uh, the same protocol, if I select WPA only, WPA policy, also it gives us that normally the WPA uh, can use TKIP or uh, AS encryption. I will keep it uh, AS but here to have different types of uh, encryption. And we can, guys, use uh, the uh, 802.1x uh, uh, authentication management. We use the pre-shared key, the most easy one, just to have to add uh, the passphrase. And we click apply. When I do any configuration, new configuration for uh, or any modification of the configuration in uh, the wireless controller, we have to uh, save this configuration. Click on save configuration. Uh, 
okay normally in the wireless controller Amar, you face a problem or not? Okay, just I will check the configuration first. Okay, here we have correct configuration for the DHCP. Here I will just reconnect the cable to fast zero zero one. It's not is reserved for another. For the laptop, just remove the laptop to gigabit four and okay, just open it to plus zero one gigabit is Ethernet zero one, and I will wait here. I have to check the DHCP okay, one, ten, one hundred, one hundred, two fifty four, correct. Okay, just I will wait to receive the networks is here, it didn't appear. Just I will go to each access point. And here, Amar, you have to use the second type of access points. But this is work with you, but it's better to use the same that we have used in our ladder. I will click fast forward. You see here it worked, huh, guys? You see, guys? Okay. We check another one. Who has uh, the a problem? Quickly. Who's the first? Yeah. Who has a problem, guys? Quickly, quickly. Just one uh, of you guys. Who has the problem? Yeah, Sultan. I will check Sultan. Sultan first. Sultan, Sultan. We will take only Sultan. Others you can. Uh, Check it, do the same that I have done now, and inshallah it will work with you. So done, so done, where is it? So done. So done, Muhammad. Okay. Okay, this for Sultan. First, I will check the wireless configuration. Wireless controller. Okay, for the subnet mask. The port, I will change it to fast zero one. Here, just connect it to the laptop. I will remove the laptop to another port, for example, to four. Then, I will reconnect the wireless controller. To gigabit zero one to the switch. So here, guys, take care about this the connection to the switch and the gigabit one. Mm -hmm. Just now to check the connection. You can fast forward, and we see here automatically access points appears. Okay, so done. Okay, Hassan, it worked with you. Other guys? I think it's fine now. Huh? For all of you, they can manage and they can submit the correct who they have some errors. Just you have to uh, reuse the same file, change it, and when you have the connection, submit it. And here, just to show you, with this access, uh, wireless controller, if I add a new access point, for example, to uh, the uh, access points of uh, Sultan, I will add another access point, uh, MAPT. Uh, I will connect it to the switch. You will see that it detects the configuration 
sorry, the virus controller will detect the success point and send the configuration automatically to it. For example, I'm connected to 06 or and here I have the gigabit zero. Just I need to pop on the success point. Okay. Here just to receive the configuration from the uh, the HCP and from the wireless control. First, it will receive the IP address from the HCP server. Then it receives the configuration from the wireless controller. Here it receives the IP address. You see now it receives the configuration from the wireless control. Okay, guys, to connect a device, just you have to, uh, for example, I will add a new device. Well, also I will connect this laptop, for example. Click on the laptop, then go to config, wireless, and here. But first, guys, you should check if the laptop contains wireless card or not. Okay, there is a wireless card. Just I will go to config. Here I will select wireless. For example, here it is put in MPE. Uh, I think the password Muhammad put, uh, I think it's from zero to nine. I don't know if uh, it's correct or not. Mm -hmm. Which password that you have put it? If I need to access to the configuration from the web browser, check the connectivity 192.168.1.254. I will show the HTTPS instead of the, instead of the HTTP. Admin. Yes, uh, who uh, is the owner of this file? I think it is uh, uh, Sultan. Sultan, the password, this uh, password for all uh, sorry. Also as a password for uh, uh, wireless networks. Okay, it's correct here. Just uh, we'll go to, you see here, we have four access points. We'll go to wireless lines for the wireless reports. Uh, for example, for uh, STD, I will uh, change the password. Or the passphrase. I go to security, and here I will put zero. Sorry, zero one nine two from zero to nine. Then I will click apply. Okay. Then I will say the configuration. Let me see, we'll see if uh, the laptop will connect to which uh, network and to this. Uh, here, uh, Sultan, you should put uh, the SSID name here, not uh, EMP. You will should put uh, this uh, name if you uh, we will do that. Yeah. This is the name that you should put when, for example, 
And for this, uh, I think uh, you have done it also for the smartphone. Wireless. If you put here, and you put uh, the password as Muhammad. You see here the phone is connected for this laptop because I changed it. Uh, the, uh, uh, the STD, I will here put the report STD, and this is the first phase uh, that we change to zero for zero to nine. You see here connected. Okay, guys. Any question concerning this lab? I think now you have uh, the solution for the situation and you can manage your lab correctly and also for your projects. Okay. I will now go to our lab. Uh, for today, uh, you have to uh, open from the lab lesson. You have the lab for For the lab four, you have the Wireshark file, guys. Uh, open this Wireshark file 